Hey folks, Daily Lands Blog for the 23rd of May, 2019. And I don't, I don't know if that looked very good. Um, okay, buddy, you need to relax, okay? It's the Daily Lands Blog. Uh-oh. I don't know what it is, but he has an obsession with this selfie stick. Case, it's your responsibility to try to figure out how to keep shooting this. And this is a serious subject. So, uh, yesterday... On the Daily Land blog, I talked about suicide and the idea that one of the things that scares us the most is to ask the question to somebody, uh, have you thought about suicide? Because we fear the answer. So today I was giving uh, a speech to a group called ACON. Uh, it's a construction group and it was, uh, you know what, I really enjoyed it. I felt connected to these people because they were they were all workers kind of like me. I mean, we do different jobs, but... Um, it was, it was a, an amazing experience, as it always is. And I talked about that. And I talked about talking about suicide. And I talked about the whole concept that because we're afraid of the answer, we don't ask the question. Uh, so a woman came up to me afterwards and said, and, and she was obviously very emotional. And she said, you know, I thought about it for a year. I worked on myself. I worked up the courage to ask my son whether he had thought about suicide. And I was pretty sure I knew the answer, but I knew that we would never get the help that he needed unless we talked about this. So eventually I got up the nerve and I asked him and he started to cry and he was unable to verbalize it for a, a period of time for sure, which obviously told me, this is her saying it, what the answer was. And I said, well, you know, do you think your, your lives would have been different if you hadn't asked that question? And again, highly emotional, but she said, yeah, you know, I, 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 I don't know if he would be here. And I thought, wow, what a, what a hugely important lesson. Uh, and that is, I mean, we're not talking about treatment here. We're talking about introducing the subject. And we're talking about asking a simple question, which would be if your kid is in the back seat of the car, for instance, and you look back and you go, oh my God, that kid looks like a little bit green. You would ask the question, do you feel sick to your stomach? Right? I mean, it's not like you're going to ignore it because you're afraid of the answer. Well, actually, I might be afraid of the answer. But hey, Case, remember when you puked in the backseat of the car? Yep. And mom tried to clean it up. The only thing she had was, what was it? Construction paper. Construction paper. paper. It didn't work so well. But you would ask that question. Or if, if you looked at your child and your child was coughing, you would say, you know, do you have a sore throat? So why is it that far more important question um, that ultimately could save your child's life or your husband's life or somebody in your life's life? Why is it that we have so much trouble asking this simple question? Have you thought about taking your own life? Think about it. And maybe you would ask that question to somebody in your life that you're concerned about and the answer would be no. And maybe you would believe it. You haven't lost anything. What's the downside? There is no downside. What's the upside? I heard it today that you can save a life because of it. Signalweek.com. 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Uh, and, uh, well, I was going to say come hear me speak tomorrow, but that would be the day after tomorrow. So uh, forget that. I Forget it like I never saw that. Hey, you know what? Wrigley did pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. You've still got the selfie stick. You've still got the microphone. And I've still got cuts on my arm.